Okay, unit's not running, it's off on a low pressure switch. We've got no pressure in there at all. Um, I've spotted, that looks oily. Blowing it that way. It's probably just vibrating the snap. There it goes. There you are, new one of those. Just turn the LP click at about 7 or 8 psi so we know it's not sucked any um, air in or anything. We're just going to replace that and get it working as quick as possible because the milk's warm. We haven't got time to be messed about changing the dryer. We'll not come back and do that side glass because it's weeping. So we change the dryer when we do that. Okay, we've got a little copper gasket in the end. Uh, you usually try and glue it in there with a bit of nylon and then we'll try and get it on there without it twisting either way because it no, won't seal. <coughs> and then just got that one to do. It's a bit more tricky because the copper thing wants to fall off so you just try and glue it to that piece and then get, get the fitting on there without touching it. Okay, we've got that done um, and it's pouring out of here. I'm going to put that in there, but there's not enough room for it to turn. Ooh. Okay, we've got a seal. Um, hopefully that's the right one. Uh, I've got another kit there. There's two different sorts of these. There's these ones with a ring, and there's another one with a plate with four bolts. Um, but I, I don't know what the difference is in the O-ring. Um, but I suppose an O-ring's better than none. So. Uh, Let's get this all cleaned up and took apart and then we'll hopefully hopefully that'll fit and if not I think I've got a complete kit in there but like I say I'm not sure whether it's for one of these or the four bolt ones. Trying to get this done with all the rain and put the rain coming down. Got that loose. The tricky thing with these is getting the glass out. Um, Sometimes they stick well, they stick to the rubber, and the rubber sticks to the compressor block. Um, and you can't pry if you prize them out, you crack them. And I've tried in the past sort of pressurizing them to try and blow them out. And if they come out, they suddenly move, jam, and then all shatter, which is why you usually get a new glass in the kit. I think if you're rebuilding them, <coughs> you can have the sun pop and push them out, and they come out okay. But we can't do that. Um, so I've just cracked that loose with some pressure in there. Hopefully that's your metal ring. I think that I think that might be loose, I don't know. So I might might just hold a cloth against it and put one or two PSI in there and see if it would just pop out. But yeah, they're, they're a pain. Right. Got that rigged up the back pump with a bit of silicon tube on the end of it. Okay. 
Such a new one up there, you can see it down the back front. But... It's got that out. Uh, there's a bit of dirt on there, which is probably not good. Oh, we'll do a little too clever. Let's put a rag in there for now. Get a bit of oil pump on there, and we'll pull all that out, and we can put some fresh oil in it. Okay, getting the rest of that oil took out. Hopefully, it's not damaged the bearings too much. It's not really done them any good. Now you can just about see that flat rubber ring there. So we'll have to get that out with a pick, and then clean the uh, face up so it seals. Got a fair bit of oil in there. I mean, the minimum line is just on there, so minimum is not far off the bottom of the glass anyway. But yeah, might be that that pipe breaking has done them a favour. <coughs> I think we might be lucky. I've just hooked the uh, pick on the edge of that seal, and it might actually. come out as one piece. Usually they break up and you have to chip them off. Get a little terminal screwdriver and then just chip away at it. Yeah. It's still got a bit of give to it. Oh no it hasn't. Let it crack. Yeah. Yeah it's done. Right, so we'll compare that to our new one and hopefully it'll be good. Well, that'll that be good because that won't need much cleaning up. Okay. Anyway, we've got the, the uh, O-ring of other O-ring in there. All the ones I had were the same size. Um, and then there's another spare glass in there that's slightly bigger, so possibly the four bolt ones might have a slightly bigger um, O-ring and, and uh, piece of glass, I don't know, I'm not sure where the glass is coming from. Um, anyway, so you've got O-ring glass, then this metal washer goes in, and you want to be careful it doesn't sit down in the threads, because if it's set in the threads it's not going to... it wants to sit in the threads if you see what I mean. Was it? it if it's sat in the threads, it's going to jam up before it's putting any pressure on the glass. So a bit rubbish, really. <coughs> and then you've got that, and that goes screws in, and you just sort of nip them up till they till they stop, and then just put a little bit of a turn on them. They don't need to be murder tight. Um, you're better off starting off loose and then tightening them rather than doing them up too tight. Um, I did have, or was it the other ones? No, it was the other ones I had the torque spec for. But I, I don't bother with that because what I find is if, if you are working on one where the body's hot, the heat softens the O-ring, and if you torque them up to the spec you're given, it's too tight. So you have to do them by feel. Um, if it was stone cold, you could probably torque them up. It's something like 18 newton meters, I think, on the smaller glasses, something like that. Um, but yeah, yeah, you don't want to over tighten them. Okay, got the oil in there, one, one and a half litres. Uh, plug sealed up, we'll just put some soapy stuff around there. Give it a few minutes, see if we get any bubbles. Should be good. And we just got to vacuum it and run it up. Um, yeah, we'll have to change that when we do the next service. We ain't got time. This mid tank's been off, not uh, making ice for about three or four hours, so we need to get it running because uh, it's on a robot. Milker, so it milks 24 hours a day. Yep. Okay, got that all back together, backed out, leak checked, and all that good stuff. And we've dumped about two and a half kilos in there, and it's going a bit slow because this is 134A and the weather's cold. It doesn't like coming out the bottle. So let's turn it on and see what happens. Might 
quite in down a bit. Not sure it will get around everywhere again. We'll have to look back at previous videos. I do think it was a bit noisy before, but that is a bit noisy. kilos in there. I don't know how much it holds. Probably not much four and a half I would have thought. I think it's much more there. It's quite a short pipe run. <coughs> but it's running about plus nine, plus ten, nine and a half. I'll probably this compressor is rated to plus ten max. It's a 20, 12, half 12 high temp, 22 low temp, 502 low temp. L200 0037. I would give that up in the book and see what it's rated at. Um, it's not got any noise, if anything, it's got a little bit quieter, but it's got some wear on their bearings. Um, may uh, begin something. Because uh, on the inside of the glass and that plug, there was some sort of grey sort of dust, uh, which is probably, it's probably aluminium con so I dare say they've worn a bit. Now this thing must be everywhere. If it's in R12H oh, and all that on there, it must be. Um, I can remember these these are the kids being painted this colour new. So that, I mean that would be thirty five, thirty seven years ago, thirty so this could be thirty years old, this compressor, thirty five years old. style block um, and it would have a sticky label and not a data plate on there. The actual unit itself is even older. I'm going there now, four, four and a half kilos. I think five. It's probably going to take a lot because it's working hard. Um, I might shut the bottle off and leave it for a bit. You can put probably it's quite a big receiver on these and save the whole bottom of the unit so I'm sure I've had these before and you know, the old Desco tanks just take a lot of gas where you can put 10 or 12 kilos in them and you still have plenty of room. I mean that's, that's pretty much the same size, probably a bit bigger than that bottle. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's not cold enough to make any ice yet, but... Took a few degrees out of the water, I think, so going the right way. That's the other favourite place, that's a, probably the first place you check for leaks on these, so on the expansion valve. So I've started fitting, I forget getting leak now, I just put a brazing valve in there because the gas is so expensive. It's cheaper to put a new valve in and it not leak again. And very rarely they go, well, that's a adapter anyway, but it's very rare they go on the inlet, it's always the outlet that goes.